welcome to my youtube channel cloudy ml and today i am again back with a python programming question which i was asked in bridge i2i python coding round so let's try to understand the problem write a program to find number of occurrence of elements from list 1 to list 2 so uh, for example so this is a list now i need to find the occurrence of each and every element in the second list okay so one is appearing one time here two is appearing two times here three is not there 9 is not there 198 it is there and 200 is here but it's not here so we don't bother about that right so 1 is one time 2 is two time 3 is 0 9 is also 0 100 0 90 9 is zero times and 8 is one it's somewhere hidden here okay so it is one time so let's jump to the solution so simple way to do about is uh, let us two loops right uh, list 1 equals to list 2 equals to now we can iterate to these two loops i'm doing the simple solution for i n list 1 okay now check for j n list 2 if i equals to j then what to do now i need to create a count of these elements right so and count right so key value pair i can create a dictionary dict list 1 equals to okay so dict list 1 dot add i don't know if that function exist or not okay Okay, let me first initialize this list. Um, for i in list one, dict i equals to zero. What I have done here actually, I'll show you the code. What will happen? This particular thing. So I have initialized all the values in the list one with zero means their count is zero. Now I will write a code to increase that count. So uh, equal to zero. So what I will do is this. Okay. I equals to dict I. Plus one, so I'm increasing the count of the element by one. Let's run this, and you can see we are getting the expected output. One is one time, two is two times, three is zero, and eight is one times. Now again, the simple problem here, which we can see that this particular loop is order of n square because two loops are there. Now we need to do some one more problem is also there. For example, here if I have Two is repeated, right? Suppose, for example, then in this case also the value of two in this is two times repeating. But if you run this and this, you will see two is coming here as four times, right? So that for this two, it is counting two times. For this two, also counting two times. So total four. So that is not the appropriate solution. So for that, let us do something. For that, what we will do? We'll remove the duplicates, right? So from the list one, we'll remove the duplicates. What we'll do? For i in list one, let's create a new list one new list one underscore new equals to empty list. 
if i not in list one new then list one dot append two times what is this this one dot append i okay let's do this Let's check what happened yeah so the duplicate 2 has been removed so what i did here took one value from the list if it is all not there in this list this currently this is empty right so it will append if it is already there suppose, suppose in the first iteration one gets added then two comes in this list now again the th when the second two comes in the uh, loop it will see that it is already there present in this list right so it won't append so in this way i have removed the duplicates now again this is also in the order of you know, n square because i not in loop it will check its order of n so it kind of one loop only we don't see the loop here but internally the loop is working so two loops here so for this what we can do is we can ap apply another method what we can do so what i have done list one i have converted into set so what it will do it will remove all the duplicate elements now it's of order of n because it will keep adding elements to this set one by one and it uh, uses the hash function so it's order of uh, n so we have removed the duplicates in order of n instead of this one which is order of 2n one drawback here is that order can be lost right you can see the order has uh, okay here the order has been lost yeah so other order has been lost but that doesn't concern us we are just uh, concerned with the number of iteration okay so 1 2 3 9 should be here but 9 has come here so order has been lost but doesn't matter so let it put it like this list 1 equals to this right now if we again run this one now again from 4 it has become back to 2 that's what we wanted now one problem here is Mm, uh -huh. so duplicate problems we removed now there are two loops to remove this two loops we need to do something right so i uh, thought something and something came up to my mind i will tell you what was that so we have list 1 and list 2 just to like this list 1 plus list 2 what will this if so all the elements have come up here together so i can put it in some list the score on cat equal to this right now all the elements have so those two loops list has been combined and made into one now what i will do i will do like this now i will use the same this count function uh where it is this one right so i need to yeah so i need to for this particular list i need to count the number of elements so wh what i will do i will count the number of elements and subtract it by 1 like this two from list 1 this this two from list 2 now the count will come 3 but what i will do I, at the end i will count subtract the count by minus 1 so that will gives me the count of uh, element in the list 2 to the list uh, list from list 1 to list 2 that's what was the goal let me count let me uh, now the whenever the count comes in the picture we need to use dictionary key value pair for i in list concat dict concat equals dict concat i equals to 0 this is initialization and this is something this is empty dictionary now i have initialized all the elements with zero right now i will count it let me do it here itself 
in second loop for i in list con cat then this one equals to plus one uh, uh, mm, mm. yeah fine so let's run this okay now we have got this list now everywhere there is one extra instead of one two is there and just two three is there and wherever zero was supposed to be there, there is one so what we will do now again one more loop here we can write it like this let me do it here in list one cat Okay, now these are all unique, right? So what we will do, we will find the unique list con cat. Good. So list con cat has multiple values. So what I am I am trying to do, I want to subtract minus one from each of them one time only. Like if I iterate from entire list con cat, so minus one will happen one two three. So let me show you what will happen. Then you will get it. What I want to do in essentially minus one, right? So in this case, you will see that it concat all the values have become zero. So that's not what I desire. Right? That's coming back to the initialization state. So what I will do from the list concat, I will remove the duplicates. same way I told in the top now you can see the list concat it has unique elements right now from each element I will subtract minus one okay so okay let me rerun this one this particular thing then this 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 Why did this happen? Okay, let me. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. List concat has to be recreated. Step one, step two, step three. Now it's proper. Now again, fine. Now we have the unique elements. Now we have the desired result. One, two, eight, one, and. 90200 so now this particular thing whatever operations we have done is in the order of n how let me show you once if i put entire thing in this right you can see the loops whatever the loops i have used i just copy pasted all the cells here so it came together just to show you in one place so you can see all the loops are separate there is no nested loops so it's of the order of n only so we have achieved our desired solution okay that's it for today one more small announcement so i have launched this data science course combo course where all the concepts for being a data scientist has been covered from scratch any non tech person can come and learn there is uh, um, skype chat support from 6 p.m. to 12 minutes every day to resolve all your course related queries and most importantly it's in the form of hands-on learning so it covers python machine learning sql statistics deep learning, everything from scratch if you're interested you can come here and enroll i'll give the link in the description section also you can uh, you can subscribe to our youtube channel and uh, don't forget to do that and also you have the options to follow us on instagram and you can chat with me if you want in the instagram okay that's it for today guys thank you thank you so much bye bye